so let's mount the system center virtual machine manager r2 iso double click on setup and click install of course because this is the hyper-v machine i will install both the management server and the administration console here i will put the product key and of course my name and accept the license I always recommend it to participate in the customer experience to improve the product of course this will check the prerequisites that we already installed and here let's see uh, leave the default and I will use the created domain account which I created for system center called system center BMM service it's recommended to have a separate account for the service account and then leave the default and next here I will point to the folder I created earlier in a previous video which is for the library share it will it was in this yes, this is the folder and of course here the description I will just add a TFS BMM library share that's fine and then install it took some time and then of course it is also it always recommended to run windows update after installing I would recommend it to run all the time windows update and update all the component to make sure that there is no conflict when we configure anything else Let's close that. 